if we had point B between points A and C, we can find out intersection union of different diagrams like say segment AB and let me just say union and then we can say ray, ray AC in fact. So let's try to find out the union of segment AB and ray AC. Let's try to understand visually what's happening here. So let's just use this shape for, for instance and we will place the points A, B and C such that point A is here, then point B is here and point C is here. So B is between A and C. Now what is segment AB? If I have to show segment AB here, I can show it like this. All the points between A and B and also points A and B. So this part, so this is segment AB. Now let us try to show what is ray AC. Ray AC would be all the points between A and C and all points after point C keeping point A as a terminal point. So ray will extend towards right like this. Let me draw the arrow like this. And now what we are interested is the union of this. What is a union? This is union. So we must remember that union adds the points of the two sets or considers all the points from both the sets. You can see that this segment AB is a subset of ray AC. So the union of two would just be the ray AC as we can see here. So all the blue part that you see is a subset of the orange part. So all points are already considered in AC when we talk about segment AB and therefore answer of this is going to be ray AC. But what if we had a question like this segment AB intersection ray AC and in that case we want intersection or the common points between segment AB and ray AC and let me use green color to show the intersection or the common points between segment AB and ray AC. So all the points which are in segment AB are the part of ray AC. So this is this common region that I can show in light green and this is basically segment AB and therefore the answer to this will be segment AB. Now let us use the same diagram but different problem like this ray BA union ray BC. Now how would these two things would look like? Now ray BA means the terminal point is B and the ray extends to the left of A as well and the ray BC means that the terminal point is B again but this ray is going to, towards the right like this and all this green part shows the union because we want to add the both points and therefore this looks like a line and this line can be defined by line AB or line AC or line BC anything so this this as well as line AC or you could write line BC or you could also write line AB. Now what about for the same diagram we want to find out the union of segment AB and union of segment BC. Now if I just want to draw the segment AB like this we already know that point B is between A and C if I just place A and B like this I must draw point C towards right of C. So this will be point C somewhere here and these are the segments no part is extending on the right or left here and we just want union. So we see the union we want to add all the points from segment AB and all the points from segment BC and this gives me a segment AC altogether and therefore the answer to this is segment AC. Now let's just talk about the intersection of segment AB and segment BC. Is there any common point between segment AB and segment BC? Yes, point B because segment AB defines all the points between A and B considering points A and B and segment BC means all the points between B and C and also points B and C. So only point that is common is point B and therefore the answer to this is point B. Now let's just look at the original diagram. Let me just draw it again. So we have a line like this where I have this point A, B and C then where B is between points A and C. Now I want to solve for AC minus BC. Now there is minus. So we are going to take out part BC from part AC. So part AC is this part and if we talk about BC is going to be the small part here and if we take out BC from AC we are left with a part AB. So 
we can write the answer here as AB. What about AC minus AB then? This would mean that we are taking out part AB from AC and we are left with part BC and therefore we can write this answer as BC. So we can also find out addition and subtraction as well as intersection and union when it comes to line segments, rays and lines. But before solving the problems, we must see which point is between the other two points. 